Hello, and welcome to Stony Brook University's information session for admitted students. My name is Lauren Sangimino. I'm an assistant director of admissions at Stony Brook University. I'm happy to congratulate you on your acceptance today and welcome you to a community of Seawolves. We're gonna give you a brief overview of the university as well as the enrollment process. Congratulations on your acceptance. We've had a very competitive class this year. We received over 36,000 applications with applicants from 48 states, as well as 91 countries. We typically have around a 42% acceptance rate, and we usually bring in a class of about 3,000 freshmen. Here we are in Stony Brook, New York. Stony Brook is part of the SUNY system, so we are a public school. There's 64 campuses to the SUNY system. We are one of the four main university centers. What makes us a university center is our size. We have over 17,000 undergrads at Stony Brook University. We have doctoral programs, Division I athletics, research opportunities, and we're academically competitive. We we're founded in 1957, and we've come a long way in such a short amount of time. As you can see, we're very close to the water on the north shore of Long Island. We do have the Long Island Railroad train station right on the edge of our campus. So that can take you directly into New York City. It's about an hour and 15 minute train ride. Some other things in the area. Uh, we have the village of Stony Brook right near us, which sits on the water. We have uh, the town of Port Jefferson, just 10 miles east of us. This is right on the water. It's where the ferry comes in from Connecticut, from Bridgeport. A lot of our New England students like to travel that way as well. Lots of restaurants and places to go out. Um, you know, it's a, it's a fun place for our, our students who are at Stony Brook. Then just south of campus, we have the Smith Haven Mall. Um, we have lots of restaurants over there. We have Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Bed Bath & Beyond, movie theater as well. On the other side of Nichols Road is Target. Uh, we also have a Walmart and BJ's in the area. So lots of things within the area. We do have a bus system that goes around campus and off campus and can take you to a whole variety of these locations. We have received many great accolades, top 1% in the world, top 40 public universities by US News and World Report. We're also ranked in the top 100 by US News and World Report, top 15 public colleges. We're also part of the AAUs, which is the American Association of Universities. This is the top 62 research universities in the country. We're very happy to have been recognized for our research and invited into this invitation only association. Our undergraduate students get to study alongside world-class faculty at Stony Brook University. So all across the board, we have some very strong faculty members. We have Grammy Award winners, Pulitzer Prize winners, and Nobel P Prize winners as well. The student-to-teacher ratio is about 18 to 1. So for our incoming freshmen, we have a first-year experience for you. It's called the undergraduate colleges. So as a student at Stony Brook, you're gonna to get to meet students within your classes for your major. The undergraduate colleges is a way for you to meet students outside of your major who have the same interests you do. As I mentioned before, we have about 3000 freshmen at Stony Brook University. We break them down to these six themed categories. This way, it's easier for you to meet other students that have the same interests you do. So for example, there's arts, culture, and humanities. This will have music practice rooms in the residential halls, as well as a black box theater as well. So ways for students to facilitate their interests. These are also affiliated with the residential halls. So whichever undergraduate college you're placed in, this is gonna determine where you're living on campus. So think of them as living learning communities. You're gonna take your freshman 101 and 102 classes within the undergraduate colleges. So nice smaller class with other students that have the same interests you do 
and potentially living within the same residential hall as you as well. Typically, the, the 101 and 102 classes are taught by either an undergraduate college advisor or a member of the Stony Brook community. So this way, you get to see someone on a weekly basis from the university that's going to help guide you throughout your entire freshman year at Stony Brook. So if you have any questions, they're going to help you get assimilated to the university. That's why we have about an 89% freshman retention rate. And we also have a whole wide variety of support for our students throughout campus. You will have an academic advisor. So freshman year, you'll have your undergraduate college advisor. You'll also have an advisor within your major as well to help oversee you. We also have pre-professional advising. So if you're looking to go into a graduate program within health or law, medicine or teaching, this person is gonna help you get the prerequisites you need to apply to a graduate program within those areas. They'll also talk to you about test prep options, taking LCATs, MSAT, MCATs, um, LSATs or MCATs. Um, they'll also talk to you about the application process, how many schools you should be applying to and where you should be applying to. So they really guide you throughout your entire four years here at Stony Brook to help get you to that next step. We also have free tutoring services as well as workshops. Um, we also are up to date with our electronics, so we have an app that can help advise you as well. In terms of your curriculum, you're going to be taking classes within your major, so that'll be about half of your degree at Stony Brook. So you're going to take um, your classes for your major that are required. Um, you can take an, a specialization or a minor. Uh, we have honors tracks to a whole bunch of our majors as well. And we also have some combined degrees so you can get your bachelor's and master's in five years. Some of those are accelerated. Now outside of your major, you're going to be taking the Stony Brook curriculum, which is your general education requirements. We want you to really be able to explore your interests and take classes that are interesting to you. So for example, we have a writing requirement, a social behavioral sciences requirement, an art requirement, global studies, humanities, just to name a few. So this way, you're gonna get a wide range of classes. Coming in as a freshman, you can take some of these core courses along with some intro courses to your major. So this will help give you a variety within your schedule. You'll also have a variety of class sizes as well. So some intro level courses to your major may be more lecture hall style, whereas some of your core courses may be smaller in size. So this way you're not taking a whole bunch of courses um, within larger settings. You're gonna have a wide variety of courses. Oftentimes we have students who double major and major minor across different disciplines. Uh, there is a lot of flexibility to do that. Uh, sometimes some of your core courses uh, can also fulfill major requirements as well. We also want students to get a hands-on learning opportunity. So whether you want to do volunteer work, uh, we do have the hospital right on campus, so you can do volunteer work there as well, um, as well as all over Long Island uh, in New York City too. We have internships. We have a great career center which can help get you internships and you can start as early as freshman year. Research. So this is something I've mentioned before. What is research? Well, it's taking what you learn inside of the classroom and applying it to a real world setting. We have a program called Eureka at Stony Brook which helps our students get involved in research. So you can do research on your own or with other faculty members. You can do them across all different disciplines as well. We have music students, English students doing research. Stony Brook University does co-manage the Brookhaven National Laboratory. So in the past, our undergrads have helped launch the Mars rover into space, discover the cause of Lyme's disease, and invent barcoding and scanning technology. One of our professors won the Nobel Prize for his research at Stony Brook, and in his speech, he thanked the undergrads because that's how closely they work together. It's great having this type of opportunity as an undergraduate because it'll help you when it comes time to applying for jobs or applying to graduate schools. Another type of hands-on learning is studying away. 
So we have a national student exchange program where students can study at another university within the country. And we also have a study abroad program. So you can study outside of the country as well. You can study at another university and take a full semester abroad, or you can do a winter or a summer session. Those tend to be shorter in nature. Uh, we do have a world-renowned anthropologist on our staff, Dr. Leakey, takes his students to Kenya, where he discovered his findings, and they do an archaeologic dig there at the Chicana Basin Institute. All your credits will transfer back over to Stony Brook, and you still just pay your Stony Brook tuition. I mentioned the Career Center before. Um, they are so helpful to our students. Again, I recommend starting going there as early as freshman year. Uh, to start looking at internships, uh, job placement. If you're undecided, this is a great resource for our students as well. They can help guide you in choosing a major, giving you assessment tests to see what your strengths are and your skills are. About 94% of our students, um, when they graduate, they are either employed or going on to grad programs. They do, our Career Center does host a career fair in the fall and spring. So students can go there and start making connections with companies. So they can hand them their resume. Oftentimes students get interviews and we do have students who are employed before they even graduate. In terms of living on campus, we have over 10,000 students living on campus. We do have the largest residential population within the SUNY system. As I mentioned for freshmen, you're going to be housed within your undergraduate college. So it's important to really look through our website of the different undergraduate colleges to see which one fits you best. That's gonna determine which residential hall you're placed in. So you could be either be placed in a hallway style or suite style options. Each residential quad has a fitness center. They have computer centers as well. They have programming all throughout the year for the students. Um, we do guarantee housing as long as you get your deposit in by May 1st, so that's very important. About 83% of our freshmen live on campus, uh, so we do have a great campus community at Stony Brook, so there's always students around, um, and we always have fun events going on throughout the year as well. For your meal plans, you get to choose your variety of meal plan. Uh, for incoming freshmen, we tend to say choose the one with the most options for you because in terms of your schedule and your classes you will be on campus more. Um, there are different types so you can do um, dine in where you swipe and you go in and it's buffet style so it's unlimited once you're in there and then we also have points so you can grab options um, and take them to go. So we have a whole wide variety of options all throughout campus uh, from pizza to sushi um, we have actually have three Starbucks options. So we have the walk-in location in our library. We have a Starbucks uh, kiosk center within our Roth quad. And then we also have a Starbucks mobile truck that goes around campus too. So that's a great commodity on campus. We also have Wolfie wallet, which you can add money to. And oftentimes places off campus will accept Wolfie wallet as well. You can always add points to your um, dining plan. So if you feel like you're running out, you can always add money to it. So that's an option there. Now, in terms of student life, we have a whole wide variety of options. Uh, we have live concerts throughout the year in the fall and the spring. Uh, we have fun traditions on campus. Roth Pond Regatta is our quirky tradition here at Stony Brook where students get to build boats out of cardboard, duct tape and paint, and they race them across Roth Pond. Some get a little soggy and sink, some make it across, but that's kind of all part of the fun of it. You may even see an admissions boat one year. We have live music, cotton candy, performances. So it's a really fun time for our entire campus community to come out to. We also have strawberry festival, apple festival, homecoming hoopla in the fall. Um, we are division one in sports. So that helps bring a lot of spirit to our campus. Our students do like to enjoy going to see the games as well. However, if you play an instrument, I highly recommend joining our marching band. It's the fastest growing marching band in the country. You may have seen them before. They're actually in the lotto commercials. It's the one where the person says, I quit. It's crickets. She goes, no, I quit. And then the marching band starts playing. The narrator says, yeah, that rich. <laughs> We've also done a promo for Pepsi 
for the Super Bowl halftime show a few years back too. So they're a great group of students and I highly recommend joining if you get the opportunity to. We also have a Wolfie Land Carnival as well. So those are just fun events to look forward to throughout the year. And then we also have a weekend life um, organization. So they plan events on the weekends for our students to look forward to. So more concerts, we have um, sporting events, we also have clubs and activities, over 400 of them. Uh, we have performances and comedians and all sorts of acts that come through campus um, through our Stoller Center for the Arts. So students actually get to have one free ticket to Stoller Center uh, and then it's reduced rates for students after that. So we also have fun movie nights uh, for students to look forward to. So lots of great opportunities. So if you decide to enroll in Stony Brook, this is your timeline. So May 1st is the national deadline for deposits. Uh, we will be sticking with our May 1st deadline this year. So it's important to have your tuition deposit in by May 1st. So this is going to guarantee your spot at the university. If you're going to be living on campus, then you want to place your housing deposit also by May 1st so that we can guarantee you housing for all four years. There's also an orientation deposit due. Um, if you can't pay that by May 1st, that's okay. You can still pay that afterward. We just say get that in before your orientation date. It won't hold up getting an orientation date. There's also a new student preference form, which is due by May 1st. So this is going to all be done in your solar account. Your new student preference form is important because this is going to this is going to be where you rank your preference for undergraduate college. Um, it's going to ask you some other you know, questions uh, regarding your preferences as well. So it's important to get that in by May 1st. So once you do that, then come mid-May is when you get your undergraduate college assignment. So this is going to be uh, which undergraduate college you're placed in. Um, and then this will also determine your housing. So then you should also um, be getting assignments. Um, once you know your undergraduate college, if you know someone that you want to live with who's also placed within the same undergraduate college, um, then you can choose that person as a roommate. Um, so if you know someone going to Stony Brook and you want to live together, it's important that when you do your new student preference form that you both rank your preferences of undergraduate college the same. This way you'll have better chances of getting in the same undergraduate college. So um, you'll get your orientation date usually mid to end of May as well. So in June, um, this is when you're going to do your housing portal. So the housing portal will open up and this is when you can choose your housing options and roommates as well. You're also going to choose your meal plan selection too. And then you need to submit a housing planning form. So this is in preparation for orientation. So this is where you're going to list any college credits, AP credits or IB credits that you've received. This way, when you go to orientation, your advisor has that information and doesn't schedule you for any classes that you might already be getting credit for. So come July, it's important that you send your final high school transcripts as well as college credit, AP scores, IB scores to us so that we have that information. Now, July is typically when orientation part one starts. Um, orientation part one um, this is going to be with your undergraduate college. So you're going to meet other students that you're going to be living with. You're going to meet your advisor for, under, for your undergraduate college as well. Uh, there are placement exams. So you will be sent more information regarding that. We have a writing placement exam, a math placement exam, a uh, language placement exam. And for STEM majors, there's usually a, a chemistry placement exam. Um, so it's possible you can place out of them. It just depends on if you've received college credit and AP scores and things of that nature. So they will definitely send you more information regarding that. You also need to have your immunization form in by then. Um, orientation part one is typically throughout July. Some can go into the beginning of August. However, the end of August is orientation part two. Um, so this is usually move-in weekend, and this is the weekend um, before classes begin. So classes begin August 24th, so it's going to be the weekend before that. 
So this just tells you a little bit about the differences between orientation part one and part two. Part one is normally when you schedule your classes and gear up for the semester. They do have a family orientation. Uh, you do get to meet with um, orientation leaders as well. And then part two uh, is move-in weekend where they have a whole schedule of events for you all throughout the entire weekend from morning to night. So it's ways for you to get up to meet other students on activities and events um, and really get assimilated to the university. In terms of cost, uh, we have been ranked as a Best Buy high return on investment. So for New York State residents, tuition's a little over $7,000 for the year. If you're gonna be living on campus, it's a little over $25,000 for the year. For out-of-state students with room and board, um, you're looking at close to $43,000. Uh, we do automatically review students for academic scholarships. So if you've received one, you should have been notified in the mail. Uh, they're also listed within your financial aid package. Uh, financial aid packages have started going out, so check your solar account because that's where they're going to be located. We do not send them in the mail. We only do it electronically in the solar account. And if you want to connect with us, um, we have a great Inside Stony Brook application for um, students inside.stonybrook.edu. It's a great way for you to meet other admitted students from all over really. Um, oftentimes students get to meet other students through inside Stony Brook and they've already made their friends before getting to campus. Uh, some students even meet their roommates through inside Stony Brook. So I highly recommend joining that. It's also a great place to ask questions. We have some current students in there um, as well as admissions counselors that can help answer questions for you. You can always email us at enroll at stonybrook.edu. We do have a text number now so you can text us at 631-364-0455. Um, and we also have a virtual student web page. Um, so if you want to take a virtual tour and visit some virtual events, see what faculty are doing, I highly recommend checking out that page as well. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the session. We look forward to welcoming you to Stony Brook University, and we're here to answer any questions that you have. Congratulations. <laughs>